again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 26th of January, 2019. Article posted on USA Today, written by Doyle Rice, that's R I C E. Life threatening Arctic blast to freeze nearly 200 million as polar vortex attacks US. There's an embedded video you might want to take a look at. Though a fierce blast of cold air froze the central U.S. Friday, what's coming next week will be even worse. Using words such as quote-unquote life-threatening, dangerous, brutal, and unprecedented, the National Weather Service is preparing us for the extreme cold that's forecast to roar into the U.S. next week. The coldest air of the season will plunge the upper Midwest and central lakes into life-threatening conditions next week, the Weather Service said Friday. The cold will be most intense from Tuesday through Thursday. And although the worst of the cold will be over the northern central region, practically the entire eastern two-thirds of the nation will see freezing temperatures all the way down to central Florida. That's nearly 200 million people. On Friday, the numbing cold prompted officials to close schools in several states. This included the Milwaukee Public School, Wisconsin's largest school district. The deep freeze caused organizers of the Winter Carnival in Minnesota to cancel several events. What's in store next week is even more ferocious. Wind chills of 55 degrees below zero are possible in parts of the upper Midwest, while actual air temperatures will dip to 30 degrees below. The wind chill, which describes the effect of the wind and cold temperatures on exposed skin, can cause frostbites within minutes at those temperatures. The Weather Channel warned that by the middle of next week, daytime highs might not rise above zero in parts of the northern central U.S., and may not rise out of the single digits in the Ohio Valley. The frigid invasion of cold air has been called Barney by some forecasters. This is because forecast maps use purple to illustrate extremely cold temperatures, weather U.S. meteorologist Ryan Mawa said. While all-time cold temperature records aren't expected, many spots will see their lowest temperatures on record for January 29th or 30th. The cold is the courtesy of our old friend the polar vortex, which is expected to become displaced from the Arctic Circle and plunge down to near the upper Great Lakes, according to AccuWeather meteorologist Judd Cohen of Astromuffic and Environmental Research. Looking ahead to next week's forecast, said the polar vortex is without a doubt sitting on top of the Great Lakes. The University of Maine's climate realizer notes that the temporary ice cold doesn't disprove global warming, despite what some non-scientists may claim. On Friday, the globe as a whole was 1.08 degrees warmer average from when? Huh? From when? From when you first started taking temperatures? When was that? Yes, it's cold in the U.S. Midwest and parts of Canada, noted meteorologist Steve Bowen of insurance firm Aon. But overall, the globe is still anonymously warm. Check out Alaska, Africa, Asia, and Australia. Some good news. The intense cold won't last too long, AccuWeather said. The harsh cold will ease somewhat across the eastern half of the U.S. during the first weekend of February. I wonder how many people are going to die this coming week due to the extreme cold. I hope not many. I'll attach the link. Take a look at it. Let me know what you think. You might want to pass this along to your like-minded friends, especially if they live out back east or in the Central Valley area. Thanks for listening.